bunk bed with two mattresses and two bunkie boards for only $6.99. Seriously, only $6.99. Only at your homes. He's so afraid. It's a serious threat. A Scripps Ranch man says his little dog Buffy was attacked and killed by a coyote right in front of him. We were stalked, and I would turn around, and he was 20 feet behind us, stalking us. Tenders reporter Dan Haggerty is now live where that attack happened near Scripps Ranch High School. And Dan, the owner said this coyote was not afraid of him at all. Yeah, and that's uh, what scared him the most, despite what he saw. He's been handing out these uh, flyers, putting them up at different dog parks around here, not just to tell his story, which is very sad, but to explain that the coyote he came face to face with didn't fear him at all. You know, we walk our dogs all over. The Mots walked me up to the dog park where their little pup named Buffy got nabbed just as the sun went down about a week ago. She's in the mouth of a coyote and he's running up the hill and gone. Paul Mott always kept his three dogs close because he's seen a coyote here before. We were stalked and I would turn around and he was 20 feet behind us, stalking us, waiting for an opportunity. He was completely not afraid of me at all. Check out this video on YouTube of a coyote eating berries in a Rancho Penasquitas backyard. Knock on the window and see if it... Uh... Sprawling development or the drought can bring them into populated areas and they can get used to seeing people. We know there's coyotes, but we also want to be able to have a picnic or take our dogs out and not feel like we're being terrorized. And the Mots feel terrorized and tell me they've met five other neighbors with stories just like theirs from this year alone. So they say it's time to look for ways to fight back. If we don't apply some pressure on the coyote population, they will continue to become more and more aggressive. Dan Haggerty, 10 News. Sweet dog. Right now, a local community leader is on his way to Washington, D.C.